I'm back to Juicy Mountain burning Mountain. Bernie the Viking is now going to demonstrate the difference between a forward bend and a forward extension, beginning by inhaling, sweeping the arms wide and up, looking up if it's comfortable, and then from the hips exhaling, folding forward into a half forward bend only if a person would have a, an injured spine or folding further fo forward as Bernie's going to do now into, this is a, the full forward bend here, pressing firmly into the ball of the foot, lifting the arches, feeling the four corners of the foot, straight legs but soft behind the knees, with, without locking out the knees, lovely. And now from here, keeping the hands where they are, In this is a forward flexion, the forward bend, this rolling of the spine forward, only if the spine is healthy. Now Bernie's going to uh, demonstrate inhaling, lifting the chin, lifting the heart, into the forward extension and the hands can come off the ground. Notice here now how the back is very long and it's lit this, the spine is actually extending up, if that makes sense. Forward extension, great for the backs of the legs also and exhaling, folding forward into the forward bend. And this you can use as a, as a strengthening and a warming exercise. Inhaling, lift up. This time keep your hands low on the ground. Don't. Yes, stay down, stay down, but lift the heart and exhale, folding forward. Releasing top of the head heavy. If at home, if your hamstrings are very tight, you could hug the backs of the knees. Bernie will demonstrate that now. And drop the silly head heavy. Very useful exercise to drop the head. Very pleasant. So that's the forward bend and the forward extension. Thank you very much, Bernie.